Hi, I'm Brother Prater. Welcome to my page. I want to give you some words of encouragement. Is God leading you to do something, but you're not doing it? So many times, we are our biggest enemies when it pertains to the purpose and the plan God helped us to do. But we allow our insecurities or what we may feel our lack of experience from hindering us. Understand, God is not asking you, are you qualified? Understand, he's asking you, are you obedient? Your obedience is the key for you to have the victory that you need for the assignment at hand. So understand, God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies to call. God called you to do it. But we're not talking about somebody else telling you to do it. No, we're talking about God Almighty. Because some people, they'll try to throw assignments upon you that is not your assignment and it's a distraction. But we're talking about the ones that God have you to do. God has birthed you to do. Understand, why in the world do you think you think about it all the time? You envisualize yourself doing it or being in it, being in that position. So it's not just pertaining to some type of church assignment or position, but we talking about purpose. We got to take the limit off of God. So it's more than just within the church, it's outside of the church. God has an assignment for you. God has a purpose for you. But understand, you got to obey God and you got to believe in him and believe in yourself. Believe what God told for you to do and obey him. Obedience is the key. So stop trying to find excuses or why you can't do it, why you shouldn't do it because you've had some disappointments in the past. That was the past. Now we're talking about the present and the future. So look in the mirror, minister to yourself, seek God, and also remember this, seek God in your situation. If you don't see God in your situation, then seek God through your situation. And I promise you, you will have the victory and the success. And guess what? You will have the testimony to let people know if God can do it for you. He can do it for them. Let us pray. They have the Father, we coming to you right now. Thank you, Lord, for your awesomeness. We're coming to you right now, God. We acknowledge your presence on today. We ask you, God, right now, God, give us the strength, God. Give us the wisdom, God. Give us the ability to do what we need to do. But also, God, give us that desire to seek you and to obey you, God. God, help us, God, to deal with any type of insecurity that we may have, God, that's, a, that's stopping us from doing what you have for us to do right now. In the name of Jesus. We bind everything the devil stands for. We counsel the devil's assignment. We even bind every negative thought, every negative word that may have been said or even that will be said right now. God, we speaking it right now, God. We speaking for victory, God. We speaking right now, God, that your word minister to us right now in the name of Jesus. Remove every shame, every guilt of the past, even every failed attempt in the past. We're not going to dwell upon the past, but we're embracing the present and the future right now in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, for the hope right now that you have given us, God, and the hope that we're holding on to, God, that will help us, God, to exercise our faith right now in the name of Jesus. And we thank you right now, God, for the finished product, God. We thank you, Lord, for the success and the testimony coming from this and through this right now in the name of Jesus. And we give you the glory and the honor and the praise in Jesus' name we pray we say amen 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 i thank you for watching this video and i pray that it ministers to you be blessed now get to work